two, one, go. No, just divide by two. Divide by three, yeah. We have timer, meter stick, cars, washer, ramp. Do you need my help or can you get it off? I got it. You are going to create this lab from the ground up. So this means that you are going to look at the two questions as a group and decide what question do you want to test as a group. It was an inquiry lab for Newton's second law. And it was where the students got to design and test two, one of two questions, where they could see how either mass affected the force of an object or mass would affect the acceleration of an object. Ooh, OK, we could do this. The second question. They were given some suggestions, and they were given some possible supply lists, but it was up to them to see what they wanted to use. We do have washers, okay, so washers are an option. I have stopwatches, if you possibly need them. I have balls of different masses. So the first thing they had to do is select their question, and then they had to select the pieces that they were going to use and how those pieces would answer that question. So we're doing timer, meter stick, cars, and washers. You're going to change the mass and then see acceleration is going to have to do with what, basically? The speed or how fast it's going to And then the other part of that day was they had to come up with a very detailed procedure. We had to like write a procedure, and the procedure we had to make it like really detailed, so that took a little bit. It was just really hard to get every single step down on paper, because if you if you're doing it, then you know what you're doing, but it's harder to explain, especially in words on a piece of paper. Like you need to specifically say, I'm going to use two kilograms, four kilograms. I'm going to do one washer, then two washers, then three washers. Be very specific so that this can be redone by someone else. Y'all say how far you're going to pull it? Is that in here? Okay, 100 centimeters. All right, so do you think y'all are ready? Looks good. Go get your materials. Our experiment was to see um, would the force change if we put more washers on top of the car. I had to measure how far the wall of Lego would go. What's 39 minus 3? Every group of students had different data tables. So some students, which tended to be a little tougher, had to make two data tables because they had to do, they had to calculate a speed and take those measurements and that's where they were using their stopwatch and their timer and their ramp. And then they had to go in from there and then figure out the acceleration. And that's what they were trying to find as their dependent variable. How did the acceleration change by changing the mass? We had to set our ramp up on a, on a crate and it kept on falling off. So that was one of our sources of error. <laughs> we had to make adjustments. We had to add rulers to the side so the car wouldn't slide off the ramp. It was good. It's just the timing with us pressing the stopwatch was a little off, but we still managed to get it done. So we did three trials to find the average, and we just used the average. You've just taken the time, so what do you have to calculate? Okay, but, but what do you need to know for acceleration? Mass. Speed final? Speed minus speed initial? Divided, Divided, by time. Divided by time. Beautiful. So where's your time coming from? Can you put the I'm the average two for each. Perfect. And then what is the unit for acceleration? Meters per second squared. Meters per second squared, exactly. She brings up something that's like in your notebook or that she's told you before to remind you instead of like just giving you answers because it's her way of teaching and I like it. She, she doesn't want us to like give us the answer but she wants to make us understand and work for the answer. Because all you guys have calculated so far is the speed, right? We did the time. Right, you did the time and you calculated speed. So what are you actually testing though? What did we talk about? Acceleration. In the past when I've given experiments, an experiment that I think does two days might take them three days and they're struggling through it and I was really impressed by how quickly they got through this and when I asked several students about it, they're like, oh well we knew what we were doing. We created it so we understood what we were trying to get to. They didn't have to like think what I wanted. I like having like my own like I have to figure it out on my own. So it was actually like really fun. 
I think I liked it better when we got to do it on our own because we got to decide what we wanted to do and it was a lot of fun doing it. You've got to think through all the little pieces of this lab. Because I know they know it. They know the answers and they just need to think about how to get to the answer. Good. Go get your materials. <laughs>